Well, it's Gary Fox here, and we are just about ready to test the uh, crane. Uh, first thing I want to do is let you see a little bit of how the test procedure is set up. Okay, I have the boom, have the base of it, bolted to a table. And then the uh, boom itself is setting at a 45 degree angle, and we can double check that. Every time I check it, it seems to show up something different but it's showing 45 so we're we're okay okay this cable that I have running down here I set that at a 10 degree angle in comparison to the boom so it should be setting at 55 and it is so it's at 55 degree angle and the way that works is uh, after you do all the sines and cosines and all that stuff when I put about 10 pounds force on the uh, boom it's going to have about 50 some 57 I think it calculated out to be pounds uh, pounds compression upon the boom itself and these cables here will have about 40 some pounds on them the uh, that cable there, I put a pulley in the middle of it so it would shear the load on both sides exactly the same because I figured I probably could not get it tied accurately. Um, and then we have here, we have my infamous fish scale. It's a spring scale. It's designed to measure the weight of fish. And right now it's reading about a half a pound. And that's the weight of the bucket. The goal is to get uh, 10 pounds and the way I'll do that is that I'll put that water that I have there into the bucket. Should take a little over a gallon to get 10 pounds. The weight of the uh, scale itself we're neglecting uh, is probably a quarter pound. But we're, the goal is to get 10 pounds of weight on the uh, pulling down and see if this uh, crane can stand it. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's turn the scale around so we can see it. Put water ready. <clears throat> Check my 45 degree angle with the head. I do believe I got a roof problem here. So back to the uh, back to the drawing board. What's going on here? Things are like banjo strings. Oh, back to the drawing board. Okay, I'm back again. I still have the uh, buckets full. It's about three pounds of water in it. And uh, we were stretching these strings really tight. Almost felt like I got bungee cords instead of a parachute cord. Uh, there's a bunch of stretch there. A little bit of stretch does a lot at this angle. Uh, I've got it back at 45 degree angle again. Measure it down here. And I was getting into the uh, little, let's see. And it's back, it's a little bit less than 45, so I need to go back and retie it again. And this is 
So let's go back and retie it again. Okay, back again. Uh, see, first thing, <clears throat> I was reading kilogram scale, which I've done before. Uh, we're actually up at about six and a half pounds. Uh, these strings are getting pretty daggone tight. Um, and I got it back tied up at 45 degree angle again. And I'm about 55 right here. Maybe a little bit high, maybe about 60. Uh, it's amazing how tight these are getting. You can almost get a note with them. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and try it. Can you pour in a little more? Here's something. Something over there is not happy, but I keep on going. Sounds like one of my ropes is slipping, but that's looking tight. All right, we're at about eight pounds, which is where we should be for a gallon of water. Double check the angle. It's going a little bit. It's dropped some, but not a lot. We'll take it on up. Turn the scale around so we can read it. Still holding. We're right at about 10 looks like. That right there is 10. My biggest problem seems not to be with my boom. The biggest problem seems to be that these uh, cables. Yes, this one back here at the end is stretching all the way. This one, because this carries twice the weight of the others. I would have thought parachute cord would have been stronger. We'll call that test a success. I think I'll come back and do it again. As usual, Murphy lives with me. Uh, the, uh, the boom itself seems to have held very well. Um, and we are sure well, we're a lot less than, that's actually worse. Uh, we're a lot more than 45 degrees. So right now the bucket's rusting on some stuff there. But uh, we're a lot less than 45, but we got a whole lot less than 10 degrees here, so this thing's not able to lift up much. Sounds like me playing the guitar there. That one is really tight. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Anyhow, back to the drawing board on the test. I think I'm going to use steel cable. This is a joke for 10 pounds. But the boom itself held. Test done. <laughs>